Sir Wilfrid Laurier, the seventh Prime Minister of Canada. Wilfrid Laurier was born November 20th, 1841, to Carlos and Marcel Martineau in St. Lynn, just north of Montreal. This Prime Minister was a fluid, bilingual French-Canadian who became the greatest leader this country has ever had, said by many. Sir Wilfrid Laurier had the longest unbroken amount of years in office in Canada. He sat high in the office for 15 years and was a member of the House of Commons for 45 years. He spent most of, his, most of his political time trying to equalize the debates between the English and French citizens of Canada. Sir Wilfrid Laurier was an accomplished, accomplished lawyer and journalist and a strong believer in Canada's future of a great nation. Some of Sir Wilfrid Laurier's great accomplishments include bringing the French and the English together when many others in his position failed to do so. He encouraged the immigration from citizens coming to Canada to move out to the Western Canada and to expand the nation. He got the point across and convinced so many to come. He improved the Western living and because of that he was a key in building the second transcontinental railway system and colonizing the fertile lands of Western Canada. Colonizing and building of the railroads led to the Western boom and because of the Western boom, the country's economy significantly improved and led to the two new provinces of Saskatchewan and Alberta in 1905. 1911 came around. He was 70 years old and figured that he had had enough. He ended his career as a prime minister. He had died just eight years later, February 17, 1919. Sir Wilfrid Laurier was laid to rest in Ottawa with all the honours of a great government leader. Sir Wilfrid Laurier will always be remembered as the great conciliator and the father of mod modern Canada. Every year on the 20th of November, we dedicate this day to Sir Wilfrid Laurier to remember the great accomplishments he's done.